So I recently finished Bioshock Infinite, and in this video I want to talk about how the violence slash Elizabeth's AI affected me as a game player. In, in the later video I'll talk about what I thought about the story. So early on in the game, after you've just rescued Elizabeth and you are trying to get the Lady Comstock's airship, you go to a booth to buy a ticket uh, for a gazelle to take you to the island. And you're waiting there and a person is on the phone talking and the game gives you a choice to pull out your gun or to politely ask. And no matter what you do, a bunch of thugs come out and try to capture Elizabeth and start shooting at you. So as a game player, what you do? You kill all of them. That's what you do. But after this, Elizabeth freaks out and runs away. And eventually you catch up with Elizabeth and console her, start talking to her, telling her this is how things are. And while this was going on, I was thinking like, come on, this is a first person shooter, this is what you do, you kill people, why are you treating me like a monster? And then that's when I realized that up until that point, I had been playing like a monster. See, uh, right before you get to the island where Elizabeth is taking hostage, you come across a group of Comstock's men when suddenly Comstock comes over the loudspeaker and all of them stop and bow down. Now you could just walk on through the level or you could kill all these people. So what I did was went up to a guy, pointed my reticle at his head, bang, headshot. Went up to the next guy, put my reticle over his head, bang, headshot. Went to the next guy, put my reticle over his head, bang, headshot. And I did this until I had killed everybody. Why? Because he, he being Comstock, had called me a false prophet and was treating me like crap. So I was, I was thinking, well, if you're going to treat me like a monster, I'm going to be one. And even earlier than that, I had been rummaging through random people's houses trying to find all the collectibles. And I stumbled upon some citizens. I had heard uh, reports on the radio saying that I had killed people even when I hadn't. So I decided I'll make those reports true. So I killed the innocent people. And so as the game progressed, I stopped killing civilians and stopped killing people that weren't shooting at me. But I took on more of a supportive role. I took on a more protective role because I got more interested in Elizabeth. Elizabeth stopped being some goal to complete my objective, you know, rescue the girl, wipe away the debt, and she started becoming more of a human, more of a character that I started caring about and started really looking after. I was no longer there just to wipe away my debt. I was there to save her. In fact, the only other time in the game that I did kill someone who wasn't shooting at me was after Comstock had captured Elizabeth and he was siphoning off her power. I was pissed and I wanted to free her as soon as possible so I killed anyone who stood in my way, even the technicians just running the boards. So what I'm trying to say is that Bioshock Infinite through its mass violence and very gore splattered gameplay had turned me into a monster and yet at the same time it's amazing well thought out well acted AI character Elizabeth turned me back into a human and no other video game has done that. Spencer I'll see you tomorrow